all right. So, uh, uh, you know, so once you know the net, the number of nodes in the network, the number of uh, independent current sources and the number of independent voltage sources, I mean the job is very straightforward. You first set up uh, a matrix of size n plus uh, uh, p cross n plus p and then you go element by element and to the initialized matrix full of zeros, you just add the stamp of that particular element. If you see a conductance, you add to this matrix, this you know, you first initialize the 0 cross, I mean uh, n plus p cross n plus p matrix full of zeros, then you go element by element, you know the stamp of each element, you just add that stamp to the existing matrix, right. So, uh, and you know, uh, uh, I mean this is of course uh, a simple minded way of doing this. You know, if you have uh, 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 a huge network, you know, you do not want to create so much location, uh, so you want, do not want to allocate uh, uh, so much uh, 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 memory uh, at one time, right. Uh, then you can be probably, you can do smarter things like, you know, uh, 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 that is a whole, that, that, that is a different ball game, it is it's, uh, all about memory management and so on, right. But at least in principle, you go element by element and then add to the existing all zero uh, uh, augmented conductance matrix the stamp of that particular element. Hmm? And, uh, and this is what is done in, uh, uh, in all circuit simulators uh, because SPICE will generate uh, a netlist from uh, the schematic that you draw and then you know the uh, matrix generation is simply you go line by line and then uh, you know figure out what element uh, you are trying to uh, uh, plop into the matrix. You know its stamp already, so you just add that stamp to the network. Of course, we are not happy with just networks with conductances, current sources and voltage sources. We are also going to have controlled sources. So, let us see what we can do with controlled sources. Um, for example, the simplest one uh, to deal with is uh, the voltage controlled current source. Now, I am not going to sit and draw the entire network, I am just going to focus on the nodes this is Gm times Va minus Vb. This is the network, uh, this is the uh, controlled source and we have to figure out, remember that we are trying to figure out what the stamp of this controlled source is, correct. So, in general, therefore, this uh, the augmented conductance matrix will be uh, you know of this form. You know, it will have you know uh, n plus p uh, rows and then uh, uh, n plus p columns. Hmm? And uh, so, all the action will be basically between in which rows and which columns. In the rows corresponding to a b. I mean, if at all there is any action, it will be in only in these rows and these columns, correct. So, can you tell me uh, what will happen to uh, in, in uh, which row we will have uh, the stamp of the voltage controlled current source? Well, the current is flowing between nodes C and D, so all the action will be in the row th rows which correspond to the Cth and Dth nodes. So, all the action will be here in this row, correct. So, we do not have to worry about these two guys, correct. And uh, the current depends on which uh, voltages? Node voltages A and B, right? So, we do not have to worry about the Cth and Dth columns, right? So, the entries will, will happen here. Does it make sense? And what is the entry? In the Cth row, you have 
जी एम इंटू वी एके एंड माइनस जी एम इंटू वी करेक्ट मेक सेंस पीपल एंड लाइक वाइज इन द डीथ इन द डीथ रो वॉट यू सी माइनस जी एम all right does it make sense so in other words the augmented conductance matrix right uh let's call that g sub capital a so not to get confused between small a the a b uh sorry uh Oh, let, let's forget about for the time being, right? So you can see, therefore, that the MNA stamp of the voltage-controlled current source looks largely similar to that of a conductance, with a key difference, and uh, that being, well, you know, if you had a conductance, wh what would happen? The stamp would look kind of similar. The only difference would be that the CD throw would simply become the same as the a b right i mean and uh, intuitively that makes sense right if i short these two how does it look like if i short a with c and b with d what does it look like it looks like a conductance of value gm and then you know that basically will appear in the a b throw and, uh, and a b call hmm? okay uh, now what comment can you make about the structure of this matrix now earlier when we had only conductances this was symmetric correct now it is no longer symmetric okay so with the controlled source i mean it uh, it is possible okay and out of curiosity if i uh if i did this i mean this is just simply this gm times uh, v c minus vd okay so how will the mna stamp of this look like this will happen in the eighth and bth rows and in the cth and dth columns and what will happen this will be gm minus gm and this will be minus gm and gm okay so what comment can you make about the mna stamp of uh, 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 of this versus this what was whatever was happening in the see through of of this guy is happening in the seat column of uh, uh, this chap correct so if you flip the controlling and controlled ports you can see it's very clear that the mna stamp is simply the what is simply the transport is that clear right so just bear this in mind we'll come back to this later okay so 
we finished the simplest of uh, uh, the control sources. Now, let us see all right the next uh, control source uh, we will talk about is say uh, the voltage controlled voltage source and uh, again we are trying to find the MNA stamp of the voltage controlled voltage source. So, let us call it gain it occurs between these four. So, let us call the gain mu times V A minus V right again. Uh, so, we have a voltage source and what is the problem with the voltage source? Whether it is controlled or uncontrolled I mean you know uh, uh, what happens? The current is an unknown. So, you need to add an extra unknown to the set of equations correct. So, and uh, this current I am going to call let us say Is I mean Ix ok and therefore, what should we do uh, uh, you know how will the MNA stamp of this look like? We had the original G matrix. Now, we need to add we need to add an extra. So, we have uh, the node voltage vector right and then we have to add an extra unknown I x ok and in which rows will uh, uh, all the action be happening in C and D and uh, which column of these rows will all the action be happening. which column do you think uh, all the action is happening in the last column right. So, that is basically the C row should have a plus 1 and the D row should have a minus 1. Huh? No, no, no. This model C. This is the. This is the the current, right? So that is I X is flowing. I mean, these entries, you know, basically model the fact that a current I X is flowing from out of node C and then a current I I X is flowing into node D, right? So we have an extra e uh, unknown. So we need an extra equation. What is that extra equation? you know V C minus V D is nothing but mu times V A minus V B or in other words V C minus V D minus mu times V A minus V B equals 0. So, what should uh, where all uh, does action happen now that happens in the last row which all columns do you see action happening A B B, C and D correct. So, C must be 1, D must be minus 1, A must be minus mu and B must be plus 1 all right. So, this is the MNA stamp of or the voltage controlled voltage source all right. And uh, now out of curiosity what I am going to do is see what happens when I just flip the voltage source uh, uh, the controlling and control ports around. So, this is now mu times V C minus V D and this is V C this is V D. So, what comment can you make about uh, uh, this matrix now? So, in which rows must this happen uh, the uh, you know uh, must uh, 
will which of those rows will be affected a and b and what do you see people come on so in the last column you basically see 1 and minus 1 and uh, what about uh, all the columns you basically have a b c and d and what do you see 1 minus 1 minus mu okay all right so let's, uh, stop here and continue in the next class so tomorrow is 8 o'clock class please uh, you know show up on time right don't walk in at all